this time we're going to see a for loop that deals with strings and we're going to use Android. So we saw one that increases count by one, now we're going to take a look at one that will append strings onto, onto each other. So we'll have a for loop that basically just adds to an existing string with each iteration. So we'll start with a blank string and then each time the loop runs it's just going to add something onto that string. So we will start the loop at zero, we'll increase by one and we'll run five times just like we saw previously and again each time we'll just add to the string. So previously we saw a for loop that just increased a, an integer variable which we named count by one each time. So it ran five times and increased count up to a total of five. Because again starting at zero, increasing by one each iteration and it ran five times. Now we'll take a look at a for loop that will append strings together. So we'll first start by just creating a string variable. This will be string and We'll call this mammoth and in fact let's just call this string random string so that's what's going to be we'll not give it a value yet we're just going to initialize it to be a blank string okay and let's create our loop now so we have we're going to start the count at zero and we're going to run until let's do five iterations again and we are going to increase it by one each time so i equals i plus one okay so we've set the us uh, set this up pretty much exactly the same as in the last video so we have starting at zero running until five and increasing by one each time so this loop will iterate five times so each time what we're going to do is we're going to take random string and we're just going to see random string equals whatever it is right now plus and let's put some kind of a character on the end of there so let's just say let's just have it say hello a bunch of times okay and then at the very end we're just going to print it out so we'll have our text box just be our string there we go. So again we don't need to do the dot to string because we're dealing with a string already. So just to recap before we run it, we have our loop starting at zero, ending at five, increasing by one, so it's going to run five times. And each iteration it's going to take whatever string is already stored in random string and it's going to add hello to it. Okay? And then at the end we're just going to basically print out hello or print out whatever our random string contains. All right, let's go ahead and run this. So we'll run with the Nexus S. And here we get hello printed out five times back to back. Okay, that's exactly what we would expect because all we're doing is we're appending hello to whatever already exists in random string and we didn't initialize it so it just started out as a blank string and the loop ran five times each time just adding hello to our string called random string. So this is just one of the other things you can do with for loops and it's demonstrating appending a string to another string with each iteration. Again just one of the many things you can do rather than just increasing count. So we'll take a look at something a little more interesting. We'll take a look at arrays in the next video because for loops are an excellent way to access all elements of an array. In this video we saw a loop that adds to a string with each iteration. So we created a loop which started at zero ran until five and increased by one each time and with each iteration it just added hello to a blank string five times. So at the end of the loop we had hello printed out five times again because each time it's printing out hello once and we ran it five times. So by now you should be able to perform various repressive operations using for loops so we dealt with numbers and strings.